Hey guys, this is all about ergonomics because it says all about ergonomics. But let me explain what is ergonomics. You might have heard of ergonomically designed hardware or ergonomically designed furniture, ergonomically designed devices, ergonomically designed pizza. I'm kidding, that was just to get your attention. Now, what is ergonomics? Well, in a nutshell, it is the study and the design of products that reduce stress and improve comfort to the user, helping increase the user's productivity. Now, before you just memorize that and spit it back on the page, let me explain what this actually means. It's the study and the design of products, okay, that reduce stress. Let's look at the first part, the study and design of products. It's how things are designed. So, for example, if you take a mouse, okay, here we have a wireless mouse, you can see that it has been designed in a specific way to fit the palm of your hand, resting comfortably on top of it, your fingers on the buttons, and very easy access to the scroll wheel. Why is that? The whole reason is so that it reduces stress on your hand and your wrist and your arm so it's easy to work for longer periods of time without getting stiff or sore and that's what ergonomics is about it's about creating devices in such a way or designing the devices in such a way that they don't hurt your body and you can work for a little bit longer not that we want to work for longer but that's the goal reducing stress on the human body Okay, here are some examples of ergonomically designed hardware. So we have this guy, the keyboard, which you got to do this with your hands. I'm actually not sure. I think it's made, okay, let's have a look. We have a wrist support at the bottom, okay. Your hands rest like this, and they sort of just rest comfortably on the key. So that's apparently uh, an ergonomically designed keyboard. I think I've tried one of these before, and it's a little bit weird to get used to, so I wouldn't do well with this. But um, you can see it is obviously different. It's been designed to put less stress on your hands, okay. This is a mouse. It's a mouse by Neutral. Uh, yes, it looks like, is it a left-handed mouse or a right-handed mouse? I don't actually know. But it's got a whole support there for your, your palm, your maybe going onto your wrist. Oh, it looks like it's a support for the wrist. That's what that is. And again, a ergonomically designed mouse to reduce the stress on your fingers and the tendons and the muscles and all that stuff. Some of you might recognize this. It's a gaming chair. Okay, It's quite fancy. I like the colors. Uh, it's got uh, back support, arm support, uh, he neck or head support. Um, we can like move it backwards or forwards, you know, recline or up. So that's pretty uh, intense if you're like a serious gamer. This is my kind of chair, okay? If you ever want to buy me something, guys, buy me this. Okay, this is cool. There you can see it's got a really nice butt support. Haha, <laughs> I said it. And back support, upper back, the neck or head. I think that's the head. So a really, really comfortable chair so you can sit and be comfortable and then, you know, you don't get like stiff and sore after like an hour or so. Here we have an ergonomically designed desk space uh, made for working standing, which I would never do, but she does, okay? And let's just ignore the fact that there are no wires or plugs or even a computer there, nothing on the screen, but she's smiling and then she's happy and that's good, good. We need to be happy, okay? But you get the idea in terms of the design, I hope. All right. Oh, here's an interesting one. And initially I thought like, yeah, I want this. And then it, it started to look too much like a, a, an exercise bike to me. But another example of ergonomics or ergonomically designed um, hardware, there you can see the person can really lean back and get into their work. So um, interesting, although I've never seen this in real life, to be honest. So repetitive strain injury. This is kind of why ergonomics exists, is to avoid this, okay? Repetitive strain injury is also known as RSI. So what is RSI? Repetitive strain injury, or RSI, is damage or pain, I'm serious, pain, caused by repetitive movement, overuse of a joint, or incorrect technique. The same movements repeated over and over again with your body start to put strain on your body. And if you're not like holding the mouse correctly, like you put it like, you know, side, I don't know side, who does that, but uh, if you're not using the mouse correctly or the keyboard correctly, or you're not sitting correctly and your body's performing the same movements over and over again, you start to hurt yourself, okay? And what does RSI do? It produces what we call carpal tunnel syndrome. Carpal tunnel syndrome is just one of the types of injuries that you can um, sustain 
from repetitive strain, okay, on the body. So let's have a look. Uh, carpal tunnel syndrome, this is an example of repetitive strain injury, and it affects the hand and the arm, all right? It's caused by inflammation of the nerve in the carpal tunnel of the wrist. Now, I'm not a doctor or anything, but I do know from experience the carpal tunnel is right here, okay? And you can Google that, I promise. It's over there, okay? And let me tell you, because if you think about it, that's where your hand is resting pretty much most of the time on the table when you're using a mouse. And as you keep using this stuff, it starts to put a lot of pressure on that carpal tunnel and it actually starts to cause inflammation because the body's trying to protect itself and it hurts, your whole arm hurts, okay? It means it's time to take a break. So if you start feeling numbness and tingling in your fingers and especially your arm down this way here, you gotta take a break, all right? And you gotta do some exercises, all right? So what about some tips then for healthy computing or safe and healthy computing? First of all, you gotta look like this guy, okay? Put some yellow stickers on your body and don't do that. Um, that's, I'll let you just pause the video here. You can read that, okay? I'm not gonna read all that out to you. Pause. Here's another one, okay? Another guy, slightly more human looking and there, wow, that's the straightest body I've ever seen. Um, it's like this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Six steps to the perfect ergonomic workspace. The chair, okay, the chair's got to be the right height. Get your feet flat on the floor. The desk, a right height. Get your elbows, um, you know, in line with the armrest, for example. The monitor, it's 40 to, 45 to 70 centimeters away from your eyes, okay? And if you have glasses like me, uh, then it's still the same. Keyboard and mouse, you just make sure they're ergonomically designed keyboard and mouse, which today, I mean, most, most things are anyway. Your surrounding, okay, do you have enough light? Do you have enough uh, ventilation? Um, yeah, things like that. And your lifestyle. In other words, I think what they're saying is that you're not spending like five hours a time at the computer and not taking any breaks, stuff like that. So tips for healthy computing, here we go. First of all, take regular breaks. Please do, every 20, 25 minutes, uh, 30 minutes at the most. Get up, stretch, walk around, get some fresh air, take some regular breaks. Check the brightness of your screen, okay? The brighter it is, the, the more strain you're putting on your eyes, not very good. The screen distance as well, not too close, not too far, 45 to 70 centimeters is the recommended distance from your eyes. The table and the height of your chair. So like, make sure the chair is high enough that your feet are flat on the ground and that your arms are nice and comfortably, they can rest comfortably on the table in line with the armrest of your chair. That really does help, guys, I, I promise. Lighting and ventilation, adequate lighting, okay? Make sure there's good light so that your eyes don't take strain, obviously. And ventilation, that's so that you don't fall asleep um, and then you like land on the keyboard and then you get like all the marks on your face. I, I've heard that happens, it's never happened to me. And then of course, use ergonomically designed devices, which most devices are, but be wise in the devices you choose to use and look after yourself when using uh, technology.